Hello peeps, Rocket here and isn't that a sight? Welcome back to another episode of Starmate from the Star Squadron server. Basically, I'm building at different parts of the station, like split it up meanwhile, and today I would like to show you progress I made and let's finish the one and other thing. I have started my work on the shipyard section of the station. I still have to do the gravity lift here. Uh, that leads down to that thing and that thing will be connected to that thing. Well, maybe we should get the hut back. So you'll come here down there in this tube, then going up here and ending up here in the control room for the shipyard. I got something prepped today. Uh, that thing, first design I actually did and here are still all the parts which are in there and now I would like to construct a current design and call it um, You build There we go. Okay, let's get over there. How about we just get in there? Okay, and now I need to reassign. Uh, so we want the salvage computer being one. One. Cannon two. Overdrive. Five. Radar seven. Rail dock on 9, uh, chop drive 8, uh, yeah, that looks more reasonable to me. Really sad thing is you can't uh, slave the cannon to the salvage computer and then have the overdrive as well slave to the salvage computer because overdrive and salvage computer don't seem like to get along. And now with 9 I should be able to undock, right? There we go. There is the station block. <clears throat> okay. Now let's get out of here for a second. Just because I would like to check if that beauty now... Oh yes, it's unfactioned now. That's good. That's good. So, yeah. Everyone could enter a faction signature here. Was there a screen of sorts? Nope. Uh, checking the inventory. I have everything I need. So I just, you know, have gifts here. And, uh, you know. <laughs> so now um, uh, we have someone on the server. I'd like to make a little present because it became clear to me that he would be in need of such a ship. So I suggest we are heading over there. Uh, by the way, is there... Yeah, that is the front look, right? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, um, being in need, right, right, right. No. Uh, do I have... yes. Gaza station. Plot. Flop. There. Where is the... over here. Okay. Glad we have a... Uh, jump drive. Okay, I see you there in a bit. Okay, so we are in the starting system and I just spawned in and obviously we have some pirates around which I guess do not care much about us because our jam is active and this will be the last jump anyway. So we should now be there. Uh, yeah, that's zero kilometers 
Where are we? What's hitting us? Hopefully, nothing bad. There we go. This is Gar's station. We just jumped right through it. Okay. Uh, are you guys shooting at something? Really? Are there some baddies out there? Not anymore, I guess. Good job, turrets. <coughs> oh, still shooting at something. Is there something to shoot at, actually? Huh. Hmm. Nope. No clue what the turrets are doing, but, um, or obviously I was too late anyway. So, let's deliver this beauty. By the way, I really, um, I really value overdrive. Meanwhile, it's such an awesome thing to have. Let's see, that's Gmod's plate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this the... The Inglip ship? The color scheme could fit, right? Is that everything there is? Huh. That looks weird. Or is it just not loaded and I'm just flying through it? No. Oh. Not really crazy. Crazy people on this planet. <clears throat> well, they still like paying taxes, so... What should I say, right? Ah... <laughs> uh. This looks like... No, it doesn't. No, this is Garza's plate, right? Let's see. Um, I think so. Excuse me. Yeah, I think that's Garza's plate. So we are looking for the new guy. New guy. We got a new guy. That's Fuses. That's Nathan's. He didn't continue building here, did he? Guess not. And this could be it. Yeah, looks just like it. Okay, let's just. Uh, by the way, I if if you if you haven't checked him out, I um I like this though. That's cool. If you haven't checked him out, we have a new player on the server. His name's Lenscap. Um, small little YouTuber, but good good content. So you actually would, I think you guys would enjoy it. Let me quickly. Uh, how about? How am I? Uh huh. Okay, now. This looks actually like landed. Let's leave him a gift. Alright, so this is it. Um, hmm, yeah, maybe 
I should have cut that a little, but um, I guess he's able to read it, so... Um, yeah, I just, you know, welcomed him to the server and basically I delivered him um, a little gift. I have never harvested a planet, actually um, all these were uh, drops from pirates, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you don't know Landscap, you might want to check him out. Uh, last episode, he just started his um, tree build over there-ish. And I really like what he is doing with those lava ponds. Like, he uh, landscaped a bit in order to, you know, make it all look a bit more natural. You see this lava floating down there and having this little pool here. Uh, I really like this idea, so yeah. I guess the next thing we need to do is getting home. All right, returning here, I thought it might be a good idea to get those resources back and then try building in the shipyard in creative and also getting rid of the last few free floating dock blocks over there because I kept the one where that thing was docked to um, and there's another the escape pod thing so time to get rid of these there there it is that's that's the that's where that ship was docked to now the thing is, um, as we can do this as a design, we probably are able to finish the design first before we need to take care, or before we have to take care of acquiring all the resources. So, yeah, that kind of appeals to me. Uh, all right, let's uh, place order. Deconstruct to design. Um, hmm. How was that chip called? Wait a sec. No, quickly. Um. What are you? Frigate. Hmm. Yeah, it's a frigate. <laughs> Uh, that worked. Um, yeah. F frigate work in progress. Since it's the only frigate, I don't think it, it will, you know, cause too much. Thank you. Design frigate and load. I like that. <clears throat> and we are going to need these.
All right, we are done for this episode. So this is the um how to call it half sphere thing. You stand on this block and you can you know observe uh, everything in the shipyard and the shipyard computer next to it is logics and you saw this part building that is basically the sorting system so um, you can use it in a way um, well the shipyard stores the items in that thing and if you want you can press this button and then the sorting system would take out all the items from that thing and you know sort it and arrange it in uh, those chests and um, yeah to check out your ship you go back down the elevator and then you come by the way <laughs> you might be wondering what the hell are you flying Dragheart? and let me show you this is a seat right a radar and tremor overdrive and here it has the uh, jump drive thing this is um, a personal transport thing that I just, you know, I um, I made this gift to Landscap and he already replied with a video, you know, finding it. And he valued the overdrive so much. So, um, luckily I was not done doing my episode. So, um, I did this ship which is uh, basically a modification of the Yummy uh, from, you know, pre... That was even pre-rail systems, I guess. If I'm correct. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> personal transport basically has everything you need to have to get from A to B quickly. Right? Nothing else. No, no, no... Uh, Guns or nothing, right? Just uh, thrusters, overdrive, a little um, jump drive thing here. That's it. Uh, yeah, you can't load the jump drive in one go. It, it pulls too much power. But doesn't matter because, I mean, you're racing through the galaxy with over 100, well, default system, right? Over 100 um, meters per second. Anyway. Um, this platform here is supposed to, um, let's say you you are you want to check out the design on the shipyard, right? Where is there is the docking block? So you're standing here, you're activating this thing, and this basically lets you fall over to like about here. So all you need to do is you know steer a little to the left because the um, a little downward because the block, there it is, is um, basically here in that line. So that's the exactly where the um, station, the initial station block was. So you need to get a little bit down and you need to get a little bit over there. But um, you are easily able to manage to actually land on the ship. So pretty much that spares you the time of having to fly over in astronaut mode and uh, now let me just get me out of here by the way is this isn't this cute so this is the entrance here you just open the glass and then you close the glass again when you're inside i just left this <laughs> okay so here we have gravity very important gravity and then you open that thing. And I see you can't go through the next door because it's locked. Okay. So that thing should. Oh. That's not supposed to happen. Are you shutting or something? Is my logic flawed again? That's always the thing, right? So, as soon as I start... <laughs> what the hell's go going on here? 
As soon as I start, um... No, it's meant to be closed. By hand, right? Yeah, it's meant to be. And then I can... Ah, maybe I should rework the logics here. That should not happen. I'll do that. I'll do that. So, this is how you get up here. And then basically you just walk over here. And now get this view, right? Isn't that... I mean... Just imagine when it's done. Can I... Yeah. I exited. Now if I fly to the... No. Still can't see a... Uh, maybe from here? Yeah, you see this? This line here? <coughs> Actually, the entire shipyard is... 1,600 or will be 1,000... 300? 600? It's, 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 it's long. <laughs> okay? It's, it's really long. And I parked a, a, a thing here to abuse my admin power so I can pretty much quickly, you know, do the Shift F8 thing here and then just get out again. <laughs> All right, so this is the sorting system. Um, nothing. A few blocks. A few other blocks. Nothing. Effects. Uh, guns. Stuff. Yep, yep, yep. And, um, yeah, here is the shipyard computer. And... Actually, I had... That's a scimitar design. That's a gatherer. The, the gatherer is the... Um, what? You know. The design I uh, gave to Landscap. That is just the escape pod. And that is the... Uh, oh, we don't need that. I suppose. Yep. Get lost. And sadly... Um, yeah, you remember that frigate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that design kind of got lost because I had to redo this because the shipyard was um, not unloading a design. So it, it was blocked, right? And I had no idea how to fix it. And then I basically removed the computer several times. And it seems like one time I did not manage to catch all the stuff inside, so... Yeah, the frigate blueprint, I guess, is lost. Oh well. Um, Alright, and then, uh, you know, you just know that, that button. You just go like, bling, and then you're back here. Okay, over here, I also did some work. Uh, should I? I need to get out of gravity now. No! Ah! Dang it. <laughs> ah, that happens so often, meanwhile. Um... Hmm. Yeah. Let's, uh, do it that way. You see, I conveniently park these cores everywhere just to um, be able to hop around because all the walkways are not done yet so so this is the real airlock right this really does work like that but uh, on the other side I wanted one you would have to activate manually the outer door just because yeah okay now embrace this right so this is where everybody comes together, right? And here is the customs area. And yeah, that thing will actually fire at you if you are hostile. And uh, behind this glass wall, um, there will be, you know, people checking the stuff you put in here. So let, let me, yeah. You know, belongings on the conveyor belt here. And uh, then proceed to through this scanner. 
and follow the personal orders, hand over your guns, right? So, no guns on the station, hand your firearms, they will get deposit for ra later retrieval, you will get an ID to indicate which are yours, put them here. So basically you put your handguns and stuff in here, the um, personnel will take it out and, uh, you know, store it for you. And then you, all you have to do is go through the scanner and they'll check if you are okay, right? Otherwise they'll, you know, will send you back and here you can retrieve your luggage so it will scan, be scanned as well. And when you are done, you will have to get, um, yeah, this um, ID thing. So they will take your um, biometric uh, eye lens signature thing, you know, yada, yada, yada. Maybe I should add some green and red lights up there. No, not sure about it. Anyway, you need this to, you know, get it identified later and this is then your way out. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this falling around <laughs> really, really gets on my nerves meanwhile, but um, well, what, what can you do, right? <laughs> I, um, I love playing with gravity, so that's the price I have to pay. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to uh, show you the uh, progress we made and I think I am going to remove either this window or that window for um, and here will be then the door thing for you know um, getting back into this area because this is this is a one way right you just enter the station through the customs but you'll come back into these access tunnels to um you know all the docks um in another way and most likely i will you know take out this window and have the door here it it will not have any buttons or stuff to be opened from this side so there is also just a one way you can just get out here into this tunnel and you know anyway um that's it for this episode and today we are going to do something different than the usual why is there a block missing can i yes thank you i exited that Can I fly over there? Okay, so while I'm repairing this block, I'd like to do something else in ending this episode. Because I would like to um, not ask for likes this time. I mean, likes are important, you know that. But this time, I would like to encourage you guys to leave your thoughts about everything and instead of leaving a like make a comment um i mean if you like my episodes it might be pretty easy to do a real comment but um i really would like to know how many people actually um yeah are watching this far into the video because this is the end of the video you know most people like make you know, leave the video halfway done, stuff like that. And, um, right. Okay, fixed. And, um, uh, what, what's that? Now I would like to know how many of you actually watch so far. And, um, the reason for that being is I am thinking about, because someone mentioned it in the comments, um, like, doing like he asked for a shout out basically and i explained to him that i won't be able to do shout outs because if i start doing shout outs everybody wants a shout out and then it would turn into work for me to not lose track of whom i already would have given one right so that's why i'm not going to start 
doing this. But it just kept me thinking and Nathan actually has a really cool thing that he does, which I really like and I talked to him lately and ask him if, if he'd mind if I would, you know, basically borrow that from him. He does a um, your, your 50 uh, most active uh, people in a month thing and then, you know, calls them out and thanks them, you know, for uh, being active on the channel. And I kind of wondered if I should do something like this as well. And... I, before I, you know, do that, I first would like to know, like, how active are you guys? How how far are you watching my videos, even, right? And, um, yeah. So, yeah, just leave me a comment on whether you'd like it or not to, you know, um, have such a shit, have such a thing going. And maybe we could even, if so, like, if we, you know, think that's a good idea, maybe we could start at the end of uh, October to do such a thing. And uh, then probably, if you're pretty active on the channel, I will thank you personally then. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so this, this time I'd like you guys to leave a comment. And thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.